In this lecture, we are going to talk about another type in TypeScript called as union type. So, union type is used to specify that a variable, function parameter, or return type can be one of the several possible types. Let's try to understand union type with an example. Let's say we have a function called getUser. And what this function will do is it will make an API call to the server in order to get a user detail from the database. Now here we are not connected to any server or any database. So what we will do is we will simply create that user. So here I'll create a variable. I'll call it maybe uname for username. Let's say username is John. And then I'll also create another variable. I'll call it uAge. And let's say age is 28. And here we also need to use function keyword. All right. So here we have created a function and from this function we want to return a user okay so what we want is initially we want to create a user object so here i'm going to create a variable i'll simply call it as user and this user is going to store a user object whose data type is going to be an object where we will have a name property of type string and we will also have an age property of type number. So any user which we are going to assign to this user variable, it is going to be an object where we will have a name property and an age property. Or inside this user, we can also store a null value. So this user will either store a user object or it will store a null value. So here we need to specify two types. The first type is going to be this one and the second type is going to be null. So to specify another type, we again need to use this pipe symbol and then we can specify second data type. Okay. And initially we are going to assign it with null value. All right. And inside this function, when this function will be called in here, we are going to assign this user with an object where we will have the name property and to this name we will assign this uname variable the value stored in the uname variable and then it will also have an age property and to this we will assign the u age variable the value stored in the u age variable okay so this user object it can either store an object where we will have a name and age property or it will store a null value now here we have an error because we have created this user as a constant but here we need to use let keyword because later we also want to reassign this user with a user object. Initially, it will be null and later we want to assign this user variable with the actual user object. So here we are using a union type and a union type simply means that for a variable, we can specify all the possible types which it can store. In this example, this user object can store an object whose type is this or it can store a null value. So using this pipe symbol, we can specify all the possible types which a variable can store. And this is called as union type. Okay. Now we can go ahead and we can call this get user function if we want. And it is going to return us the user object. Okay. Now here also we can specify what type of value this get user function is going to return so this get user function it will either return an object a user object or it can also return null if for some reason this user object cannot be set okay but we will talk about it later so here we learned how we can specify a union type for a variable basically how we can specify all the possible data types which this variable can store now let's learn how we can use union type on function parameters. So I'm going to comment this code from here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another function and I'm going to call this function print status. Okay. Now this function, it is going to take a message parameter, which is going to be of type string. And then it is also going to take a code parameter or you can also call it a status code. Now this status code, it can be a string value or it can also be a numeric value. Okay. 
Now what we want is we simply want to log the message in the console. So for that we are going to use this template literal syntax and there I'm going to use this message variable. And after that I'll say status code and then I want to print the status code which we are going to receive. So here I'll simply say code. Okay. Now let's go ahead and let's call this print status function. And here for the message, let's say request was successful. And then let's also specify the value for the status code. So here I'm going to pass a numeric value 200. Okay, then let me again call this print status. And here, let's say the message is resource was not found. And here, status code is going to be 404. But this time, I'm going to pass the status code as string. And in both the cases, let's save the changes here. Let's compile this app.ts file. So you can see we have this message request was successful status code 200 and resource was not found status code 404. So this is working as expected. Now, as you can see for this code parameter, we can either pass a string value or a numeric value. If I remove this numeric value, this number data type from here, that means now for this code, we can only pass a string value. In that case, at this line, we have the error. So what we want is we want to allow users to pass the status code either as a string value or a numeric value. So both should be fine. In that case, I'm using this union type. Here, I'm basically specifying that for this code parameter, we can either receive a string value or a number value. We cannot receive a value of any other type for this code parameter. Now, keep in mind that you need to know what your type is when union types are being used to avoid any errors. For example, let's say, we are calling this print status function one more time. Okay. And there again, the message is resource was not found and status code is 404. But this time while passing the status code, I have introduced a space in front of it. If I save the changes, there is nothing wrong in this one. Okay. So it should still work, but you can see that in the result also, you can see a space with the status code. So what I want is I want to avoid this space. For that, what I'm going to do is I am going to use trim on this code. So if the status code is a string value and in that, if we have a space in front or after the status code, we want to trim it. But here you will see that we have an error and the error is if I hover over this, it says that trim does not exist on type this string union number. Basically, this trim method does not exist on type number. It exists on string but it does not exist on number, right? So the problem here is type we have specified as string or number. So the value which we are going to receive for this code parameter, it can either be a string value or number value. Now the stream will work on string value, but it will not work on number value. And at the compile time, TypeScript does not know whether this code is a string value or number value. So if it is going to be a number value, then in that case, this stream will fail. And that's why it is throwing this error. So when we are using the union type at that time, we need to be aware of what methods, what properties we can use on that type, on that union type. Okay. So whatever property or method we will use, it must be available on all the types in that union type. So that is the main thing which I want to convey here. Now, of course, we can fix this issue by writing some if else condition so here we can check if type of code if it is equal to string in that case we know that on the string type we will have this trim method so we can use it i'll cut it and i'll paste it here okay so you can see here we don't have any error otherwise if it is not string we know that it is going to be a number type so in that case we will not use this trim on that Okay, so we can fix this error like this. Let's save the changes. Let's compile this app.ts file. And let's rerun this application. So now you can see that space is gone. 
So I hope with these examples, the union type is clear to you. Now, currently, when we talked about union type, we only specified two data types. So for the user also, we only specified two data types. This one is the first one and null is the second one. And for this code function parameter also, we specified only two data types. But in a union type, you can specify multiple data types. Okay, so for example, if you want to get a Boolean value also for this code, you can specify using another pipe symbol and then the data type, which is Boolean. If you also want to allow null values, again, you can use a pipe symbol like this and you can specify the data type. So this null is also a data type. All right. So I hope the union type in TypeScript is clear to you. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.